All right, this video is going to be a very basic review of Rigid Industries uh, D Series Lighting. Um, we get a lot of questions about these. Uh, they're very popular products, but most people just don't know which one to buy. Uh, one thing we would definitely suggest doing is jumping on our website. Uh, we'll throw a link up to it right here. Um, but there's all kinds of graphs and patterns. Uh, I'm going to set that light down and show you what's on the back of one of these boxes real quick. But you'll see on the back of this box right here, there's four different light patterns. Just about every light that Rigid offers um, has some sort of light pattern graph like that that you can look at to really get a judge of what light is going to be best for you, uh, just depending on your application. You know, are you going to be in the field where you need a wider uh, spectrum of light, or are you going to be on the trails where you really want to see way down the trail to know what's coming up in front of you? So, a lot of different questions like that that you'll need to answer internally before you buy but hopefully uh, this video will give you a little bit better uh, grasp on what is going to suit your needs um, so we'll just start right down here uh, with our dualies uh, these are the original uh, d-series light um, very basic this is just the flood very popular light um, it's got a good width or good length with good width so it's very popular because it meets a lot of people's needs that are in that mid-range um, and then we'll move right down to the diffusion. Now, if you're really looking at these, you'll notice they look very similar, um, except that the lens on the diffusion, obviously, that's the diffusion material right there. Uh, that's the biggest difference, but other than that, those lights are basically the exact same. Uh, the diffusion material just creates a little bit wider spectrum. It keeps more of the light up close, so you don't have nearly as far the reach, but you have a little bit brighter light right up close. Uh, we get a lot of requests for this diffusion uh, material, um, especially for our farmers and our combine drivers. Um, really good for field work. Now, what we get more, uh, more questions on anymore are the D2, the driving lights. Um, you'll see these right here. Now, if you notice, one thing that should stand out to you immediately, uh, a difference between the D2s and the Duallys here, is that the D2s have six lights, whereas the Duallys have four. Now, you'll also notice, if you're looking at it, that the, um, that the actual hole, I'm sure there's a fancy word for that, but we're going to just call it the light hole, <laughs> is a lot smaller for the D2s than it is for the original Duallys. Um, as far as that, the do, the D2s are supposed to have a little bit farther reach than what the uh, the Duallys do. The Duallys are supposed to be a little bit brighter right up front. Um, we'll let you determine that when we do our comparison videos later. Uh, there'll be all kinds of links to those at the end of this video, so just stay tuned through the video and you'll get links to comparison videos, driving videos, things of that nature. Um, and lastly, we'll move right on down to our D2, the wide. We'll hold that one up for you. Now, and I've tried several different ways to be able to show this, but it's very hard to get lighting uh, to work for you on here. But if you notice the difference between the D2 driving and the D2 wide, uh, the only difference is our magic word again, the light hole has a different angle or exit angle coming out of there. So clearly the, the biggest difference between those two lights is just going to be the reflection coming out of there. Now the wide versus the driving, uh, the wide obviously is wider, uh, doesn't have near the reach. It's also not, uh, it's also a more, uh, I'm trying to think of a word to say it, it's also a broader pattern than what the diffuse lighting is for the D2s. Um, so that's what most people go with are one of those two lines. Now, you'll notice we didn't show you spotlights for either one. Uh, spotlights are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Most people know what they're going to do, what they're getting. Uh, we will make one statement about them is that the, the D2 offers the hyper spot, which is a, a lot longer reaching spotlight than the dualies are. So might keep that in mind if you are wanting to purchase a spot. Um, the dually spotlight is slightly broader of a, of a light spectrum. So that should cover us on the D-series lighting. Um, like I said, we're going to do comparison videos where we compare the two D2s, the driving versus the wide. We're going to compare the, the flood versus the diffused, and then we're going to cross them. We're going to compare the wide versus the diffused and the driving versus the flood. So it should give you a really good idea of what light you need, what pattern you're going to get, and what it's going to look like on your vehicle. So if you have any questions, make sure and put them in the comments section. As always, feel free to give us a call or email us. Uh, you can also like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pretty much any way you can get in contact with us, we'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching the video. Hope to hear from you soon.